Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final part of Kingdom Hearts RE Chain of Memories. Yes, that's right, we are ending Riku's story, which means we are ending the game entirely. Now, I know there are some things that you can get after being Riku's story, like getting some extra cards for Sora's story, but at this point, what's the point? I, I don't get it, really. Excuse you, dude. Thanks. Yeah, I can't tell uh, Jake's knees right there, which is kind of icky right there, so yeah. Ansem! Where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> Why in such a hurry? I'll be here at the very heart of darkness. Watching you plunge into the same darkness inside of you. Okay, Riku's version of Castle Oblivion is actually going to be the shortest world. I'm not joking. I don't even, uh, well... Well, here's the thing. As I journey through this world, I'm actually going to create some, uh, two save rooms, actually. Why? Because I'm that crazy. Alright, so, let's see here. And Castle Oblivion with that freaky dicky music. So, let's just go on up. And up. And create some rooms. Uh, I believe there are f only four rooms in this entire floor. Basement one. See, save room number one. I'll be saving there. And then I'll create a second save room. And then the door afterward will be the boss fight with Ansem. Anyway, back to that plot hole I mentioned last time about the organization cloaks. Okay, according to Diz, they can block out uh, someone who can smell like darkness and block someone from smelling darkness and seeing them in a way. But that's baloney because, well, Marluxia and them wore cloaks and, well, guess what? Others can sense dark. They can, others can sense the darkness in them. So what's the point? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's just blah. Anyway, here's the door that'll lead me to Ansem. So uh, let's do this. Final boss of the entire game, which is Ansem, in a strange and appropriate way. So yeah. So let's just. Uh, Make sure I get the right requirements down, and we'll end this game once and for all. Okay, opening the door, and in we go. I smell you, Ansem. Show yourself. I have watched you fight. I know your strength. Your skill with darkness has grown. It has become more mature. And yet why? Why do you accept the darkness, but still refuse me? You know you and I are similar. We both follow where the darkness leads. Indeed, we are the same. So why? Does some part of your heart still have a fear of the dark? That's not it. The truth is... I just can't stand your foul stench! You are a fool. You should know my powers well by now. Yeah, I know. Or did you forget? I used all the power you had to give, and Sora still beat me. I'm not at all impressed with your powers. Very well. In that case, you shall sink into the abyss! Hmm. 
Okay, so here we go. Our final fight with Ansem. Now, as stated earlier, the Ansem we fought earlier in the tutorial section is really, well, was really Diz, uh, testing Riku and all that sort of thing. And Diz himself even admitted it. So, yeah. This is the real Ansem, or at least his leftovers, because, well, a good chunk of them was destroyed in the first game. So, yeah. Anyway, as far as final fights go, this one's actually, in retrospect, kind of um, lame. Because, you think about it. We had Sora, who had, we had an epic duel with epic music and all that sort of thing. And here we have this uh, final fight with Ansem here, and it's lackluster in comparison. Don't you agree? Yeah. I mean, come on. The music is kind of... Essentially, that same music that um, was in the tutorial fight, really. And, and Sora's fight had that music, um, I believe if I remember correctly, it's called Lord of the Castle. And it was so significant that it actually got remade for the 1.5 collection, this collection. So, yeah. Anyway, I pretty much should say what to do about, I pretty much should say uh, what to do about this boss fight. Essentially, just use card duels, win card duels, and you'll stand a chance. And if you manage to get into Dark Riku mode, use a bunch of slides when you can, okay? Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Thank you. Okay. And of course, when you can, just break the cards like normal. Alright. Alright, blah, blah, blah. Come on. Thankfully, I break enough of these guys, so there we go. This one's mine. Yeah! Okay, and of course, you can dodge his attacks easily if you just know what to go, so yeah. There we go, finally, I'm in dark mode, and, um. Ah, yes. Again, use a dark attack to hurt a being of darkness. Somehow that works. Yeah, blah, blah. Of course, here's a little unintentional thing I did right here. He was about to use a slide of 998, and I am going to use a slide of 999, Dark Aurora. Now, what he has going on is he has that card that allows me not to see his cards at all. So, um, essentially, his slides are in the dark. I cannot see what they are, but I lucked out here. I've achieved victory by pure luck. Who cares? That means I am done with this game and we can actually move on. Insolent. Handsome. This is the end. This is hardly the end. Your darkness. I gave it all to you. My dark shadow lingers. Someday, someday, I will return! <laughs> Sora. Kyrie. Gosh, Riku, I know you wanted to do this alone, but you don't mind getting a little help, do ya? So, Riku, what happens next? Are you going home? I can't go home. Not yet. It's still here. It's really faint, but I can sense him. So, I think his darkness may still have a hold on me. Your darkness belongs to you. 
just the same way your light does. Up till now, I thought darkness was something that should never exist. Then, I spent time with you and changed my mind. The road you chose, I didn't know. Light and dark, back to back. With you, I think they might meet in a way nobody's seen before. Wonder where that road leads. I'd like to see myself. Huh? I'd like to walk the road with ya. <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm really flattered. I don't know what to say. Gosh, Riku, you know you don't have to call me that now. We're pals. Fair enough, Mickey. What are you making me choose now? Between the road to light and the road to darkness. Neither suits me. I'm taking the middle road. Do you mean the twilight road to nightfall? No. It's the road to dawn. With that, Riku's story and the game as a whole comes to an end. Yeah, folks, you could tell that I was getting a little bit bored with this because we're essentially doing the same thing with Riku over and over again. Now, don't get me wrong, Riku is a fascinating character in his own right, I admit, but I don't think this was the proper way to introduce a playable version of him if you get my drift. Yeah. Trust me, there is another game that does a much better job having a playable Riku, which I'll get to sometime in the future. But I do like that developers did try alternate gameplay styles. I mean, it's the same card deck rules, but modified for Riku's use. It's not like a rehash entirely of Sora's Sora stick there. But I think what could have been, could have been they could have done better was they could have... Um, I guess maybe they could have, um, well, uh, maybe have his story, maybe when he enters a new world, maybe he remembers doing something bad with the, or remembering the, his little team up with said villain. Give his villain, give his story a little more context. I mean, I understand he, the whole being alone in the darkness thing, but feels like it, there could have been more to it. I mean, still kind of a wasted opportunity, don't you think? Yeah. But, thankfully, again, future games will essentially expand upon Riku's dilemma with the darkness. Ah, yes. But on the good news is, right now he's traveling with King Mickey to parts unknown. So, yeah. There's always that. Hanging out with Mickey Mouse. Doing it whatever Riku's doing to uh, control the darkness. The question is, will he succeed? Hmm. Anyway, we'll find out sometime in the future. Of course, uh, now in Riku's end credit, we get a showcase of the villains. Because, again, Riku for a time was a villain of the last game. So, um, yeah. Villains. Ah, uh, yeah. So, overall, this game... I mean, this game overall, it was exciting to have uh, a 3D, uh, like a console, quote-unquote, like a PS-type console version of this game as opposed to a Game Boy game because people who actually are fans of this series want the whole story in like one, on one system, one complete set, as it were. Yeah. And having Chain of Memories, the original version on a Game Boy system... Well, it might, it might upset people, but people probably still bought it for story reasons or watched the whole thing on YouTube or something. And, um, 
<laughs> the thing is, Chain of Memories, unfortunately, is part of the overall story of Kingdom Hearts. I mean, without this game, well, some plot points from Kingdom Hearts 2 would be confusing. Well, boy, very confusing. So, it's a good thing we're doing this right now, so, yeah. And yes, folks, in Kingdom Hearts 2, make that Kingdom Hearts 2.5, the remix, final mix version, will be my next game. In fact, it'll probably be the, ne the next game I upload onto this channel, because I've actually been recording footage, so yeah. Ah, okay, of course, we get this again, blah, 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 you know, the whole Kyrie Shadow shtick. Alright, and then we get some new cutscenes, I believe, if I remember correctly. Let's see here. Ah yes, the journey into unknown parts. Although if you if you are familiar with Kingdom Hearts 2, we know where this area is. But uh, I'll elaborate more when we get to that point in Kingdom Hearts 2. Let's just say it's just a credit to the program programming uh, programmers um, effort. You know, they recycle things here and there and everywhere, so yeah. And there's Twilight Town, and there's that blonde-haired kid again, and... Axel? Well, it makes sense he's the last one of th these group of villains to survive, and... He's fr Wait, they're hanging out together? What what's going on here? I have a feeling that this will make much more sense soon. Oh, there's Nominee, there's Diz, and there's a Source Pod. And... Okay, I think we all know who that is if uh, we are paying attention, but... We're going to keep it hush-hush for right now. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, don't worry. Yeah, the Axel, the blonde kid, and Twilight Town will be answered in the next few parts of, uh, well, in the first few parts of Kingdom Hearts 2, thankfully. Oh, boy, the intro of Kingdom Hearts 2. This is going to be fun. Yeah, I've heard stories. There's that kid again. Okay, he's talking to those three kids he passed by earlier. That's fine. So they're also friends. Okay, that's interesting as well. We get more glowy text. So, yeah. And, whoa! We finally see his face. And his eyes are eerily similar to Sora's. Hmm. I wonder why. I mean, sure, people can have identical eyes, but they almost look exactly like Sora's. Ah, uh, okay. I know I want to say it now, but don't worry. Again, I'm going to upload Kingdom Hearts 2 right after this. I promise you. Anyway, here's uh, Riku's battle records. Blah, blah, blah. And I uh, got a lot of stuff, etc., etc. It took me about 15 hours. And that's including all the times I grinded and all that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah... I mean, there's nothing else to say about this game, but, well, if you want to play this game for its uh, unique combat system, which, yeah, I admit, it's fun every once in a while, go for it. If, you just, if you're just in Chain of Memories just for the story, just go online to YouTube, look up the cutscenes, and, uh, well, we can get through them quickly, because, in the end, this game, the Disney worlds are worthless, and only the Castle Oblivion stuff actually matters in the end, so... <laughs> but, yeah, we need to understand... I'm just tired of the story. I mean, it's interesting in its own right, but... Kind of a necessary step to understand Kingdom Hearts 2 overall. I thought that's all I have to say about that. Thankfully, the next game will be better, right? Much better. Much more in line with Kingdom Hearts 1 in terms of combat. Even better in combat-wise. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So until then, see ya. Later.